but I'm coming out. I may have to be uncomfortable for a little while, but I'm coming out of this. Let me close this because I don't know if I came to the right church here. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody else say hallelujah. You gotta be willing to walk away from people. You gotta be willing to step away from them. You gotta be willing to make a decision. You gotta be willing to say, I'm tired of this, and I don't want to live here anymore. You gotta be willing to say, God has more for me than this. I'm not gonna die in this place. You gotta be willing to carry your flesh. I'm doing more preaching than I want to. It requires separation. So, I tell you, I'll be done in 10 minutes, I promise you. My challenge this morning is what are you willing to give up? I'm telling you what I know, I'm living in this road. What are you willing to get, give up for the next place in destiny? What are you carrying around that you don't even know is hindering you? Because it's been so much, so much you're so comfortable with it, you know, right? what you expect. But what are you carrying around that God is telling you to change? Because it's not a part of your eternal destiny. My but God. you don't know that. Yes. Because you're all in your flesh. My, my and all you know is just make me feel good. My I'm also, you don't understand. When he touched me, I don't care! My <laughs> my I hope you don't live your life on a feeling. Based on somebody, how they make you feel when they touch you. And you got 5,000 pills that they can contribute to. I hope you're not living your life. Don't bother me here. Yeah. Don't bother me because I feel that like pressure. You just need to get a clue. This thing goes in not making your house little video again. Why are you up there trying to make a little? The devil is that lie. What you need from me? What else I need to tell you? Step up, step up, get out! <laughs> so, you have to know. You have to step away from your mother's home. To be who you are. You have to go through that. Some of y'all still got to step away from your mother's home to get where you need to go. I ain't talking to nobody special, but for me, you know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all still got to separate. <laughs> Let me get back to the message again. So, so, separation is imminent, it's pertinent for your change. And Christine, the thing about separation, man, is God always asks you to release something that you thought he gave you. Something you think is good for you. Somebody hold I want some change. Somebody say I want change. So I'm tired of being broken. I'm tired of being in lack. I'm tired of being frustrated. I'm tired of being angry. I want some change. I gotta clean my environment up of all this stuff that brings me anger and frustration. Why do I have to live in this? If you all don't bring this anger and frustration, I don't need you. So last point, I have two more points that we good. Are you here with me? Yes. So it's going to require separation. I want you to get this. You're never going to be great in a group. That's true. Amen. That's true. That's true. Gentlemen, love, I love you. I want you to hear me. You are hardly ever. When God ever calls somebody to do something where you read the Bible, he never called a group. He always calls a person. Sean yes. yes. child. And that person always has to separate from a group. Y'all don't like how I'm preaching this right now. But you can't be powerful and popular at the same time. If you're trying to be powerful and be popular, you will get caught in the church in between and be worthless. Can I feel it? Can I preach it like I feel it? If you want to change in your life, if you want to be great, there's going to be separation. And it's going to be hard on you. I don't want to leave you without saying that. It's going to be hard to give up what you think makes you feel good. I lost the whole church in that one right now. Next point, let me go. Somebody all I want to change. Somebody said I want to change. And when it comes, I know I got to adjust. I have to adapt. I can't cry about it. I got to adjust to it. But change will always. And it may bring you. This is a good point here. Glory to God. Change may bring hatred yes. and jealousy to your life. Yes, you thought that was your friend. Until you got the promotion. You thought that was your friend until you got the relationship. 
<laughs> yeah, because you always keep going dogs, you know. We can do this together. Now you're in a relationship and they're still alone. And you thought that all of a sudden they ain't speaking anymore. Now you got an emotion, all of a sudden they ain't talking anymore. You thought that was your friend. Then you truly accept change and embrace change, it's gonna bring jealousy and hatred. People gonna begin to treat you differently. Yeah. Anybody ready for real change? Say amen. They can't help it. They don't understand. But technically, when God bless you, and you make a decision, I'm going to come out of this. I don't want to meet with y'all every Friday to be talking that foolishness. I got to I'm on the business meeting. I just got a business. I'm trying to get some shango. I'm trying to get something going. I have a thing this weekend. I can't hang up with y'all talking about men like I got something else. This is Who she thinks she is. I remember when she was just like, yeah, I'm glad you think I changed. Because I don't want me to mess you in. I done been there long enough. Yes, you know, you know what I said? Look at you. I don't know you no more. You don't change. Yes! Thank God I changed. I hope you get some change in your life. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to keep stepping because I can't get caught in what you're doing. Yes. See, sometimes. You let people get you to explain your blessing. 